The difference between obwohl and trotz. Obwohl and trotz are very often confused, so let's take a look at one example to make this crystal clear. That's all it takes. Trotz des Regens gehe ich spazieren. Despite of the rain or in spite of the rain, I'm going for a walk. And you see, trotz des Regens. Trotz is followed by Regens, which is a noun, so trotz is a preposition. You can put an article in between and an adjective if you want, trotz des starken Regens, but sooner or later, and rather sooner, there must be a noun following. And it builds together with a noun, a unit, and covers position one. Trotz des Regens gehe ich spazieren. You could, of course, also exchange position three and one. Ich gehe trotz des Regens spazieren. Obwohl. Same sentence with obwohl. Obwohl es regnet, gehe ich spazieren. Although it rains, I go for a walk. And you see here, obwohl pushes the verb regnet, and it requires a verb regnen, not regen like before, to the end, and therefore obwohl is a pusher. Eine Nebensatz, Subjunktion, Konjunktion, however you want to call it, we call it pusher in smarter German because it is more logical and easier to imagine. So that's the biggest difference. So remember that obwohl requires a verb which it pushes to the end. You could, of course, turn the sentence around. Ich gehe spazieren, obwohl es regnet. This is it. Very clearly distinguishable. Go through the exercises and it will become crystal clear. Vielen Dank für deine Aufmerksamkeit und weiterhin viel Erfolg mit deinem Deutsch.